Have you ever wondered how to convert video to time lapse? Well, you're in luck because I'm gonna show you two simple steps to go from this to this. And at the end of this video, I'll explain why it's impossible to go from time lapse to normal video. So the first method that we're gonna use is all in CapCut. In my opinion, CapCut's the best video editing software for mobile because it's free, it's easy to use, and it's available to use on all smartphones. To do this, simply launch CapCut, select the video recorded, then select the clip, and on the bottom of the screen, press speed. Once you have speed chosen, select the desired speed. I just choose 10 seconds, and I just pick the best three to five second of footage. I'm gonna do the speed at 100 because that's the max and the 10 seconds long. So now that it's sped up, we'll notice, even though I shot this on a tripod, it still has wind wobble, and it only gets worse because we sped it up so much. Luckily, CapCut has a free feature to stabilize it. Just slide over to this icon where it says stabilize, and I like to use recommend it. Hey, do me a favor, and if you're finding value out of this, please subscribe to the channel, it'll help a lot. Once you've done that, we're going to improve the quality of our video to time-lapse conversion by adding motion blur. Motion blur is so important because it helps us understand that something is moving quickly. If I have one hand moving in front of my face, you can see the motion blur. And if I screenshot it, you can see I have one hand moving and the other one is still, and you know that one's moving. In CapCut, you can easily add motion blur by selecting the clip and then swiping over to the right until you see this motion blur option. Each clip totally depends on how much blur you add and blend amount, but for direction, choose both. And for times, I did four. The only negative of this is it does take half as long as the whole video is to record for it to apply. Voila, if you are a mobile user, I think this is the simplest and most professional video to time lapse converter on an iPhone that you can possibly get. Now, if you wanna do this on your computer, here's a simple way. Bring it into whatever video editing software you use. In this example, it's Premiere. Bring the footage into a time lapse and just press Command R on a Mac or Windows R on a PC and manually the input the video to be 10 seconds long. Also, go ahead and check frame blending. This is gonna blend the video frames to give us a little bit more of a motion. Let's take a look. That's honestly really good. If we wanted to tweak this, we could take it one step further by a plugin called Real Smart Motion Blur, which adds motion blur to videos. It is subtle, but it does add a nice look. It's, it is $100, but if you end up doing more professional work, it's well worth the investment. All right, so final thoughts. You now have two super simple methods on how to convert your video into time-lapse using just your smartphone only, or your favorite editing software on your computer. While there are most likely others as well, I just think these are by far the simplest and easiest. One thing I wanna explain real quickly before we go, unfortunately, this won't work if you have a time-lapse and wanna convert it to a regular video. A quick explanation is a video is made up of 24 photos taken every second. They're played like a flipbook, and that is what makes the pictures move and how we get the term movie pictures or movie. But a time lapse, it would only have like maybe one photo from that whole entire second. There's no data for it to slow down or make back up. But the only option we have is to stretch the video to fit, and it's gonna result in this nasty video footage with stuttery looking movement that looks really awkward. It's just because a time lapse doesn't have as much information as a video. Okay, well, I hope that helps. That's it for this video. If you have any questions about converting video to time-lapse, let me know.